G'day guys, this marks day one of my summer holidays. I've decided to post a video every day during the course of my summer holidays, which includes the building of a baby cot for my sister, a chest of drawers that can also double as a change table for my sister's baby. And do you remember that Live Edge desk that I started months ago? Let's try to get that one finished too. So first up, we'll build the baby cot for my sister. That's my highest priority at the moment because when the baby pops out, it's gonna need somewhere to sleep. So, and that baby's due in early February, late January. So I've got a few weeks to get it done. I'm gonna be using this slab of, well, it's grey gum. It says that it was grey gum from the mill, but I believe it might be rose gum. It's a lot easier work than what grey gum would be. And I've also got a whole bunch of tazioc here. These are 140 by 45s here that I'll use for the legs. And over there, I have a bunch of 150 by 25 boards in Tassie Oak that I'll use for the slats and rails. First up, we've got to dock these to length because it's a lot easier to machine up the shorter lengths than it is to try to machine these flat and true in long length form as they are now. So, to the panel saw we go. So I'll be using this slab of grey gum or rose gum. I'm just going to call it rose gum from now on. It's going to annoy the hell out of me. It says that it's grey gum, but I believe it's rose gum. We're going to call it rose gum from now on. It's a rose colour anyway. I'll be using this slab of rose gum as a contrasting colour within this cot to give it a bit of interest, a bit of intrigue. And so there's a bit of tassie oak. If I put them alongside each other, you can clearly see that there's a distinct difference between them. This is a pink colour. It's a baby cot. Babies are pink, aren't they? So. Kind of, kind of ties in together. So with this piece, I'll be using as the accent pieces throughout it 
the main header panel, the rails on top of the between the two legs and well, a couple of other bits and pieces throughout the job. So I'm going to have to chop this up into really weird shapes and then resaw it down the guts because it's a little bit too thick in for some pieces or thick enough for other pieces. Now that I'm going to have to rip all these wider boards down into skinny little strips for the slats and whatnot, I'll change it out to my ripping blade. Alright, righty tidy, lefty loosey in reverse. Righty loosey, lefty tidy. That got it. Righty loosey, lefty tidy. And we're back in action. So one of the best things about a decent panel saw decent fence assembly is that you can position your fence wherever you like. I can move it forward, I can move it back, all the way forward that way, all the way back this way for cross cutting. I can even halfway halfway between the blade there for ripping, which is where I like it. That's that's where I feel most comfortable.
Oh, that I almost made it through. Just that last little bit. So it's going to be a little bit darker now. I've got to turn all the lights off to make this cut because it's maxing out my saw. So I know I haven't done very much today, but I'm going to call it quits for the day. It's about five o'clock now in the afternoon and all I've done is dock these to length. Rough dock them to length. Do you ever get those days where you wake up in the morning and you think, yeah, I'll go down there, I'll dock them all to length, I'll, I'll join to them, I'll send them through the thickness, I'll bring them back over here, I'll dock them to the right length, I'll drill them out, I'll get the dowels, I'll get some joinery done, I'll get most of it in the clamps and that'll only be by, by two o'clock in the afternoon. Sure enough, five o'clock comes along, you look over and you're like, not even halfway through the first process. You ever get those days? Anyways, tomorrow, in the next video, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put myself out there here. I'm gonna get them jointed. I'm gonna get them thicknessed. I'll rip the slats to right, right width. I'll get them, get those thicknessed again. I will dock them to the right length. Oh gosh. Must be getting late in the day by now. Now nah, let's go more. We'll get them drilled out. I'll even make the patterns for the shape, the leg shapes. Yep, all right, I'm on record now. That's what I'm gonna get done tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Otherwise, I'll have to cut my head off.